Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get your Mac OS Big Sur Beta Mac to the final version that was just released today. I've heard you guys loud and clear that a lot of you were actually having problems doing it. It was supposed to be very cut and dry, but it's not. So I'm going to walk over those steps to get you going on this, and if you're having still having problems, i got a couple other ones that we can go through. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, as you see here, I've got a machine remoted in right next to me, and this is running Big Sur Release Candidate 1, and this is 20B5022, and you know what? It doesn't even matter which version you're on. Even if you're on version beta version 8, we can still get you to final. So software update is right here in open, and normally all you have to do is click on the details because we're going to remove the Mac from the beta enrollment. All we need to do is click restore defaults. We need to enter in our password. Give it a second and it'll check for updates. And that's the problem. So look, we're done. We're out of the beta, but it's still telling us that that, that release candidate 2 is, is the latest version that we want. We need to have this say Mac OS Big Sur 11.01 .01, without any mention of release candidate or a beta. So even if you go close system preferences and then try to open it up again, it's gonna say the same dang thing. And this is what is confusing everybody. And I'll, and I'll give it a second just so you guys can see opening and closing and restarting doesn't fix this issue. And there it is. What a bummer, huh? The end result was going to be your, you would have to download the full installer and reinstall. No one wants to do that. We, it takes too much time to reinstall. But don't get me wrong, if you want to start fresh, do it. You know, back up your data with Time Machine, put it on a hard drive, whatever you want to do, and then start fresh, erase and install, start fresh, or just install the, the combo or the Delta update. So I'm going to show you how to fix this problem here. So I don't know why this bug exists, but we need to use the seed utility application to manually remove it and not the system preferences way. So I'll show you how to do that. First, we have to re-enroll it back in. We got we to gotta basically do the whole process over again. And I'll show you what that is. And I'll put this in the description because this is a long path here. It's system library, private framework, seeding framework, versions, A, resources, seed util. And this shows you all those different options that you were going to run here, as you can see. Current, we are not in any program now, but it still is not working. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to enroll it back and then use the seed util instead of the software update to unenroll. So we'll go back up, enroll, space developer seed. Custom seed, doesn't matter which beta seed you're in. If you're in the public beta, this you're gonna have the same problem. Do developer seed with a capital D and a capital S, or S for seed. Enter, and look at this. Now we're in the catalog, you, we have the, here's our catalog URL, and look at this. It's actually checking for updates again. We'll give it a second to finish, and then we're gonna do the unenroll the same way. And there it is. So this is fine, because we're gonna unenroll this way. We're gonna do, we're gonna tab up, instead of un, uh, enroll, unenroll. Enter. Now we're program zero, we're unenrolled from the beta, and hopefully here we will see our Delta, or, or actually it's gonna be our Delta update because we're on release candidate one. You'll see a combo update if you're on beta, beta 11.01 or beta 10 and below. And look at that. Just what we wanted to see, Mac OS Big Sur 11.01, yes! Let's click more info to get the information about it. And there's our update, 3.22 gigabytes. We are ready to go. All you need to do is click install now. It'll download that update and get you to the final version of Mac OS Big Sur. Before we go, I wanted to show you guys just in case you wanted to do a fresh install or whatever reason, like maybe the update's still not working for you. All we need to do is go to the App Store and search for Mac OS Big Sur. And here it is, View in, in Utilities. And then all you need to do is click Get. It'll go automatically to the software update pane of the system preferences. You give it a couple seconds, and there it is. Are you sure you want to download Mac OS Big Sur 1101? All you gotta do is click download. It'll change to downloading, and it'll put in inside your, your Macintosh hard drive and the applications folder, and you'll see Mac OS Big Sur in here. And you can use that to create an install media USB stick, or you can just run the installer, and that is the final piece. If all these didn't work, you can just do an install over the top of beta with the full installer app. 
That's the final way to fix this if you didn't want to do a clean install. So A, you try to run, you, we try to go and run these combo updates through system preferences by fixing the seed util. B, you can download the full installer install over the top. And then number three is the full installer with a erase and install. I hope that fixed the issue for you guys and created value for you. If it did, click that subscribe button because I would love to have you back on the next video. Have a good night, guys.